I live my life a quarter mile at a time. How could F9 possibly shock and awe audiences after all that's already gone down over the past 20 years? They do it by turning hard into familiar Fast and Furious terrain of macho melodrama and full throttle plot twists, then taking the car stunts to absolutely outrageous new heights. In his latest, returning director Justin Lin brings plenty of his signature character moments and skill for captivatingly capturing complicated stunt sequences, making for a sequel that is both outlandish and big hearted. There's nothing more powerful than the love of family. But you turn that into anger, there's nothing more dangerous. Vin Diesel returns as Dominic Toretto, who is living off the grid until a cryptic message pulls the crew back together for another Save the World mission. There's a sizzling rivalry between Dom and his equally macho new foe, who was played by John Cena with a fierce frown and furrowed brow for masterful intimidation. They are earnest yet repressed in a way that makes their scenes deliciously campy, and Lynn knows it. Brutal one-liners, high-tension flashbacks, untold collateral damage, and countless unspoken civilian casualties ensue. The screenplay by Lynn and Daniel Casey weaves in repeated plot twists and familiar faces. Yes, that's Soon King reprising his role of Han, who comes back from the dead and brings a cool charisma, sexy smile, and gunslinging swagger along with him. Also returning is Charlize Theron as the nefarious hacker Cypher, plus a slew of crowd-pleasing cameos from the extended Fast and Furious family. Get the e-bike for me, would you, darling? However, the biggest thrills come from the absolute bonkers action sequences. Though the laws of physics are name dropped, they need not apply here. So how do you make a car chase that one-ups everything Fast and the Furious fans have seen before? Well, Lin and his team turned to new spins on the series' best ideas. An opening jungle chase throws us back into the wild world of the Toretto clan, offering edge-of-your-seat excitement and nail-bitingly close calls. And remember the incredible bank heist of Fast Five? Think that, but with crazy powerful magnets that pull and push cars through bustling streets and buildings. It all barrels towards a climax that takes our heroes to a whole new frontier and a spectacular level of suspension of disbelief. F9 addresses this with a funny bit in which a rattled Roman argues that they may literally be invincible. How else could they not only live through all of the adventures they've been through, but also look like they could be posing for character posters or perfume ads immediately afterwards? Lin knows that Fast and the Furious movies are mad fun not just because of the action, but because of how unapologetically outlandish they get at every turn, all while staying straight-faced. F9 also benefits from the strategic and striking cinematography of Stephen F. Winden, who previously worked with Lin on three Fast and the Furious films. Even when cutting between multiple locations, a horde of characters, and a parade of different vehicles, the geography and action is always in focus and clearly cut. He makes the most of each international location, turning each into a character as glossy and gorgeous as our flawless heroes. This should be interesting. But could you kill him? Justin Lin knows exactly what makes a great Fast and the Furious movie. He's directed several. He delivers bold plot twists, grit teeth gravitas, and out of this world action to create the kind of cinematic spectacle that demands to be seen on the biggest screen with the loudest sound system possible. F9 proudly pitches audiences into the shotgun seat on one more absolutely wild ride. Packed with thrills, laughs, and in the end, a heartwarming message about family. Plus, we finally got justice for Han. Those who have never reveled in the logic-free fun of this franchise may well eye-roll at its unapologetic excesses. Fair enough, these are movies that refuse to take themselves all that seriously. But what more could fans of this high-octane entertainment ask for? <laughs> for more action, check out our reviews of A Quiet Place 2 and Army of the Dead. And for everything else, stick with IGN.